Hello there, my name is Ismas. Welcome to VFX News by Top Channel 101. And let's look at the reason why everyone is switching to Blender. After the release of Blender 2.8, we have seen a large number of studios either switching to Blender or joining the Blender Development Fund. This has not always been the case with other releases, and this is not the first time Blender has got a full overhaul. In 2009, Blender 2.5 was released which saw a completely new user interface design, introduction of Cycle's render engine and a different workflow that exposes more buttons other than relying on shortcuts which made it harder for beginners to learn the program. The difference between Blender 2.5 series and 2.4 series is night and day, though it did not get the same exposure or love like Blender 2.8 is getting. As of recording this video, there are more than 20 corporations supporting Blender Development Fund including major corporations like Epic Games, Nvidia, AMD and Ubisoft. Most of these jumped on only after the release of Blender 2.8. So what's so special about 2.8 uh, that has led to all this support? Is the update that good or are there some external factors causing companies to invest in Blender more and more every day? It's really hard to put in perspective the difference between this year and other years if you are looking at the development fund until you read this excerpt from the 2019 Blender Fund report, which goes on to say, they are started with 1,272 members, bringing in 22.4 euros per month. There was a steady growth. We expected it to grow, to go to 30K at least within six months. In that period, we supported nine people. From nine developers to 20 developers, from 22,400 euros per month to 115,000 per month. That's a leap of a jump. So. How did this happen? And most importantly, why did this happen? And why is it important to look at because then you know what to do so that you can keep things going as good as they are going and maybe even push them more in that direction. When you look at the top patrons on the development fund, they are all major corporations. You can only become that big if you are making more good decisions than bad decisions. The fact that there are more than a few industry leaders all jumping on board at the same time is not a coincidence. There must be something major going on and here are my thoughts. Content is king. This decade, most successful businesses in tech have mostly been businesses that provide content in some form or another. Take an example of YouTube, Netflix, Twitch, Epic Store, or NVIDIA and AMD. Though not directly distributing or producing content, their products enable for this content, especially games, to be consumed smoothly. There are millions of transactions made every day within this industry, and to me, it seems like everyone is trying to establish themselves somewhere on this transaction line. You have the content creators or artists like you and me, and you have the consumers, the people who watch animations you make, movies you make, or play the games you make. Companies like YouTube, Vimeo, Twitch, Facebook, or Epic Games are the middlemen in these transactions, and the way it looks to me is no longer enough to be a middleman. It seems to me that more companies are realizing that it's better to support the content creators by directly funding them or just making the tools they use to produce the content free so they can use your platform. This is the YouTube's model. Upload whenever you want, however you want, whatever you want, all for free, which is different from Vimeo which charges a fee. That's why it can't compete with something like YouTube. This is also evident with the acquisition of Quixel Mega Scans library by Epic Games and their monthly free asset giveaway on their Epic Games marketplace. They want to make it easy for you to make content, hopefully content you will host on their platform. It seems also that they are acquiring anything they can get their hands on thanks to Fortnite's success and when they can't acquire you like Blender, they will at least throw a million dollars at you. They want you to make more content for them, especially Epic Games because Unreal is not enough for making games. You need a program to make models or assets that you will use in the game. So they are, so they are pushing Blender to be that program as it's a free program that anyone has access to and there are millions of a content that you can use to learn from. They can't invest that money in 3ds Max or Maya because these are all locked behind paywalls that lock out in video content creators that don't have the budget like large studios. And because Unreal is not enough for texturing, they acquired Quixel and made their texturing library for free. This is them making it easy for you to make the content that they can sell to the end user. I predict the next wave of development funds will be coming from streaming services like Netflix, Amazon Video or Disney's streaming service. We have already seen Netflix's movie, Next, a movie fully made with Blender and funded by Netflix. Expect more and more like this to happen. So prepare yourself, sharpen your skills, this is going to be a great ride. Uh, thanks for watching. Leave a like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next episode.